everyone, my name is Ellie, and I'm a white tiger qigong instructor. And today, I am going to share with you how qigong can help us heal ourselves. Ever since in ancient times, it is known that stagnation is the foundation of pathology. When there is no free flow in our body, this can cause us diseases, illnesses, and pain. Stagnation doesn't only mean in our physical body. This can also mean in our spirit, in our mind, and even in our lifestyles. People nowadays have changed their lifestyles and it is easier to indulge in destructive activities that can help deplete our gym. Examples of these are excessive work, excessive drinking, excessive exercise, excessive desires, and many more. Indulging in a lifestyle that is not in harmony with the way of nature can cause us harm because we as human beings are connected to nature and likewise, nature is connected to us. So having a practice that can help us balance and harmonize ourselves way back into our natural connection with nature is very important. This is the first step and a very important step to help us heal ourselves. And also, this will help us clear any blockages and stagnations in our body. So today, we are going to go through some Qigong exercises that can help us begin to heal ourselves. So if you're ready, just find a comfortable space and we will begin. Our Qigong exercises for today can help us release any excess emotions or any excess energy stored in our body. This can be done anywhere, in your living room, in your office, or any free space that you find. Let's begin. Find yourself into a comfortable standing position. Now, put your hands in your lower dantian, and let's check our tanjong alignments. Feet are grounded with 10% tension. Feet are facing forward. Knees are softly bent. Knees above the ankles. Sacrum dropping to the earth, and as you inhale, feel your spine connecting to the heaven through your crown point. Relax your chest, relax your shoulders, and let's begin our cleansing breath. As you inhale, feel your belly, feel your ribs, feel your chest, and as you exhale, exhale from the pinhole of your mouth. You want to exhale slower and longer than your inhale. So you can inhale for 4 seconds. And then exhale for a minimum of 6 or 8 seconds. If you're ready, release your hands and we will begin to shake it out. So just gently release your body. Shake it out. Release any tension. Turn your torso to the side and just shake it out. Now on the other side. Make sure you're shaking through all your joints, your wrist, your knees, your ankles. Just completely let go and hold on to nothing. Raise your hands up. Just continue shaking, feeling the opening of your body, feeling your body warming up, releasing any stagnations, our blockages in our body let it go and allow your body to flow shift your weight on your left and then start shaking your right leg Come back to center, shifting your weight on your right, and then shaking your left leg. And come back to center. Start to make your shake smaller and faster. Stop and hold the chi in your hands. Inhale as you expand. Exhale as you compress. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Feel the chi. Exhale, compress. 
Now slowly shift your weight on one leg and open the other leg wider than shoulder width apart and start swaying your hips side to side. As you do this, feel the chi rolling in your hands. Allow the other parts of your body, your torso, your shoulders to follow the movement of your hips as you go down, bending forward. Now shift your angle to one leg, still moving from your hips and gently feeling and rolling the ball in your hands. Shifting on to the other leg. Now coming back to center. Slowly rising up. Doing the same motion as you rise up. And come back. The standing position. The next exercise is called throwing away the trash from a trigram qigong. So gently release your hands to the side and slowly sink down, sacrum dropping to the earth, and now slowly stretch up all the way up and release. So when you stretch up, try to stretch from joint to joint, pushing from your ankle, through your knees, through your hips, through your spine, through your chest. Then reaching all the way up, and as you release, you pull down through your torso, allowing your hands to hang, following the movement. Coming back to our Tanjong, hands in your lower Dantian. Now, for the next round, we will do the same exercise, but this time, we will add healing sounds. In Qigong, we use the six healing sounds, and each sound connects to a particular organ. It has been used since the ancient times to heal the body. Let's begin. Sink down, and then stretch up one joint at a time, and as you release, you will say HA for the heart. Next round, as you release, you will say S for the lungs. For the spleen, we will say WU. Next, for the liver, we will say shu. The next healing sound is shu wei for the kidneys. Last one is shi for the triple burner. Now, let's go back to our tanjong. Stay here for a few breaths, connecting to our lower dantian as we allow the energy to settle down. Hands on the side and now, we will go to wuji stance. Lift your elbows to the side. Allowing a space in between your armpits, feeling the chi in your hands, it's as if you're holding a small ball of chi. As you inhale, feel the energy in your lower dantian expanding. And as you exhale, feel the energy in the center of your palms. Now gently release your hands and we will close. Lift your arms shoulder level, flip your hands up circling up and then releasing down to the center line of your body. Let's do two more. Inhale, circling up, and exhale, pushing down to the center line of your body. Last round, inhale, and exhale. Hands on the side. And now let's put our hands in our lower dantian and we will begin to pack the chi. So as you inhale, feel the energy expanding from your lower dantian. And as you exhale, feel the energy condensing into a pink colored pearl in your lower dantian. Again, inhale, feel the energy expanding from your lower dantian. Exhale, feel the energy condensing into a pink colored pearl in your lower dantian. Now, coming back to your natural breathing, slowly become aware of your surroundings. Slowly open your eyes and put your hands down. Thank you for doing this practice with me today. Feel free to repeat this as many times as you want. Thank you again for watching this vlog. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more updates. See you again on the next vlogs.